In this lesson, we are going to implement updating items in the cart. In the shopping cart page, you can change the quantity of product. Let's say make it 10 and based on it, the subtotal will update. To get the source code of this lesson, go to the repository and in the comment section, find video 10 update quantity in the cart. Let's get to code. Here is the plan to handle changing items in the cart. Let's add a select box for selecting the quantity of each product in the cart screen. Go to cart.js and scroll down to find the item.quantity. Instead of showing a label, we are going to show a select box and user can change the quantity of each item in the cart. To do that, create curly bracket and create a square bracket. What we're gonna do in the square bracket is to create an array based on the item.content stock. If the item.content stock, let's say is five, we are going to create an array from zero to four and base on that array create options. So use dot 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 to deconstruct this array and we are going to create an array from item dot content stock then get the keys of the array so if content stock is five key is a function it returns zero one two three four and use map function to convert numbers to options for the select box to create option, just use option, set the key to x plus one because x start from zero, but we are going to have the keys from one. So I plus it by one and set value to x plus one too. The label of this option is the numbers. Save the code and wrap this expression in a select element. Cut the closing one, move it after the expression. And for the select box, set value to item.quantity. And for unchange, what we're gonna do is to get the selected value and call update cart handler function and pass the item that we are going to handle and e dot target dot value. It's the selected value in the select box. So save the code. And here it's time to implement update cart handler. We pass the item in the cart and the new value for quantity for this item. I scroll up, find the return and define update cart handler. In this function, we are going to pass item and QTY, it stand for quantity. And inside this function, define quantity variable and it cast the QTY to number because options in the select box is a string and we need to convert them to number to use it in the cart items. Then dispatch, this action type is cart add item and the payload is the item destructured plus quantity that's selected by user in the select box. So what we did in the payload is to update the quantity of the selected item. Save the code and let's check the result. Select a product. Uh -huh, the quantity is 20. It shouldn't be 20. Let's check the code, I scroll down, find the option and the value is quantity, not content stock. Save the code and there we are. Let's select a product, add to cart. By default, it's one. If I make it two, awesome. Subtotal is two and it's $140. Let's add another product and make it less five. Uh -huh. I have seven item in the shopping cart 
and the total price is correct based on the price here. Great, we successfully implemented updating quantity in the shopping cart. Also, if we go to the product page and click add to cart, as you see, it increased the quantity by one when you add to cart a product multiple times. Great, that's it about this lesson. Let's review what we did. In the cart.js, we implemented update cart handler and we created select box from one to content stock. User can select the quantity of this product for the shopping cart. That's it about this lesson. Until next lesson, bye-bye.